Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Okami HD Blind. In the last episode, we opened up Taka Pass, we got rid of all the evil, we dealt with the molsters. Luckily, spelled right in this game. Still not sure if that was a problem in the original game or if it was like Okami Den. But uh, yeah, so we should be able to explore the area freely and figure out exactly what we need to do, because I'm not sure about that. I've been doing a couple of side quests lately. This is where the molsters were. Oop, there's a whole building down here. Seems like it's the right thing. The right way to go. Why does this look like a... like a path up here? Uh... It looks like this part's been covered with wooden panels. A pretty sloppy job, I must say. I bet you could easily smash it to bits. We don't really have a pound attack, do we? Yeah, slicing just grows things. Hold on, can I like... Uh, wait. Yeah, we could just blow it. I wouldn't use the word pound for, you know, using a bomb to blow something up. That was interesting verbiage there. Oh, no minigame. What's up? Gurg. Food, nice juicy flesh, Gurg. Hmm, maybe we should take care of that problem before she wakes up. No, oh, no, didn't do it. Turned her over, though. What's up with this? Step away from the pot, furball. That smells nasty. Okay. Um... Not sure... What's going on here? We can knock down that door. Interestingly enough, this looks like just a cupboard. Nothing special in there. I'd, like, obviously I'm supposed to do something here, right? The moon's shining through a hole in the roof. The light of the full moon sure looks eerie in here. Monsters can't control themselves when exposed to such light. We should drag any suspicious characters we see into this light. Can I, like, bite her over? No. Any suspicious characters? Interesting that it says the moonlight specifically, so I'm assuming if I tried to do this in the day, it'd be different. Gurg. Yeah, that's not doing much. I don't know. Can I, like, grab and drag? It's not gonna do it. Drag any suspicious characters. Like, obviously she's a suspicious character, right? I just don't know what method we're supposed to use to grab and drag. I don't know. Just leave. Yeah, I didn't go through the door, but I can leave. Is it like a specific button? That's weird. So, smashing that was important for opening up the door. Why? Oh my god, the sky is red. What? I'm assuming that means I can't like... No, there we go. Huh. Am I forgetting about one of my... Yeah, that did nothing. Well, she's out. Ha! I was just looking for something tasty to put in my pot. You'll do nicely, little mutt. The horrible Mrs. Cutter. I didn't close my window. Hold on. Don't need cars to be any louder than they're gonna be already. You should keep us going until my husband catches us a big beast. Okay, you must have a death wish, you miserable mutt. Okay. So she's just gonna chase us during the day, I guess. Interesting. What about this? Blech, what a disgusting well. I guarantee you this water will give you the runs, even if you're a god. Oh, what a thought. What's up with this? Can I, like... The water's moving. Well, no, it's moving out of the way of this. That's interesting. Once again, I'm not sure if we really have anything to deal with that. Let me check my abilities right here real quick. Vine, Water Lily, Bloom, Cherry Bomb, Power Slash, Rejuvenation, Sunrise. Yeah, we don't have any magical moving ability other than with the loaded, or the... Oh, hi there. Okay, I'm sure you won't. Okay, let's... Well, we can't just make it nighttime. Can we just go into her house? See ya. 
We got a puzzle here, folks. Yeah, now it's like acting like it's daytime, I suppose. What a wreck, the sun shining through a hole in the roof. That's one big hole. I bet you could even see the moon through it at night. But there's no place to be talking about ga talking about gazing into the moon. Okay, I'm assuming we must like go out and get away. M like have to obtain a way to move her into the the moonlight, because I'm not sure there is any way currently for us to do that. So let's explore a little more. Certainly there's more stuff for us to look at. Yeah, it's weird that the sky is red over there. And only over there. Let's just, yeah, look around a bit more. Wasted enough time on that. Why is this part of the wall blue? That's weird. What? It also looks like there's supposed to be a river here, but there is not. And I feel like it has something to do with the blue wall. Oh, that's because it comes from higher up. Okay, hold on. Let's keep exploring. What do the signs say? Right to Sasa Sanctuary, straight to City Checkpoint. Sasa Shan Sanctuary, you say. To Sasa Gate. Legend has it that a beautiful sanctuary awaits the good-hearted. People who pass through this gate. Alright, let's try it. Maybe we're a good-hearted people. It's Rock Lee. Oh! Oh, it's one of those situations. Just like the... Just like the tree. Huh, pushing this wall's exhausting. Ah, have you caught the scent of it too, Pooch? The scent of the secret place that welcomes only the good-hearted. The scent of the Sasa Sanctuary. Everyone that tries to go there gets lost around here. But the sacred gate there has to be a clue. There must be, must be the place. And just between you and me, but... Sasa Sanctuary is where all the sparrows live, right? Well, I saw one of the young sparrow girls coming out of there. So I'm sure the sanctuary must be around here somewhere. Sparrows. Oh, what else do you have to say? Just a reminder? Yeah, okay. Hope she hasn't gone anywhere near that nasty old couple. Never mind that, I must find the entrance to the sanctuary. It seems like whenever you have that, like, recap of whatever they say, it's like the same thing for three lines and then they say something that's actually important. So what's up with this area, I guess? Forget the old lady that's apparently possessed by a demon or something. Or maybe that's the nasty old couple he's talking about. Maybe they're always like that. Or they're probably... Maybe they've just been possessed for a long time. Bamboo Village Sasa Sanctuary. Mmm, don't you just love the smell of bamboo? Looks like there's a road here. Let's see where it takes us. Neato. I wouldn't know what bamboo ta uh, taste smells like, to be fair. I guess there are... You, can, you could eat bamboo. Well, maybe not the bamboo itself, but the leaves, you know. Save point. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, you, Scruffy, what are you doing Sasa Sanctuary? Oh, it's literally literal sparrows. Skipping in here with that innocent look on your face. You have a lot of nerve for a wolf. You know this is the turf of the Sparrow Clan, right? We can't just let you turn around and leave, oh no. Hold on. I mean, the point here is that you can't get in unless you're pure-hearted, right? So why would they be suspicious of anyone coming in? Maybe they just don't know and they fly in somehow? We'll tan your hide and send you packing. Boss, let this cocky mutt have it. Okay. That's a big old bird. Hey, Scruffy, do you know who this is? This is the mighty leader of the Sparrow Clan. That's right, the great Jamba Juice. Yeah, it's a big boy, all right. Big Daddy Jamba, they really... They really did it. Big Daddy Jamba. Okay, boss, take it away. He's all yours. Chirp. Uh-oh. The boss is seriously angry. What the heck is going on here? Listen up, Scruffy. The boss's precious daughter's been kidnapped, and he's mad. We're doing everything we can to find her. We've searched all over. No one's getting through that gate until she's safe and sound. So go on. Off with you. All right. I'm assuming that's like our next big mission must be to save her. Huh? They're not going to let us in? And what was that about their boss's daughter being kidnapped? Okay. So I guess that's Balagna for now. No getting in there. Interesting. Uh, prediction. She's probably the next, next uh, MacGuffin of the dungeon, right? 
Oh, I'm so bad at that. I don't get it. I don't know if the timing's weird, if you're not, like, clicked in or something. I don't know, man. So, okay. We have the old couple. We have the... Oop! Oh, it's like... An it's animals. I don't have to be afraid. I'm just gonna pull on your... Pull on your tail. No worries. Probably herbs, right? Yeah. Big ol' horse. Love myself a horse. Big Daddy Jamba. They really did that. They really named him Big Daddy Jamba. Cool. Well, that's the first time we've seen horses. That's a little neat thing. So, okay. It looked like there was a problem with the river up here. Let's check that out. A couple characters up here, so we'll be able to find out a little more about what's going on. This area's a lot bigger than I previously thought it was, to be honest. I saw that lotus. Is it a lotus? Is that the correct thing? Oh, wow, I missed my body there. Doesn't matter, because it's apparently good enough. Now what? Do I want to get, like, to the top of this water tower? Yeah, buddy. It's not a water tower, it's, like, more of a watchtower. I suppose. Well, what does that do for us? Can we walk across the tightrope to the other side? Nope, we just fall. All right. I don't know if we take fall damage. I don't think I've jumped from a super high height before now. Is that That's another cursed boy. That's probably going to release the water, right? Hold on. Before we do that, do you say something about it? Just in case it's something different. Whoops. Accidentally, accidentally attacked a child. I don't understand. The mermaid, mermaid spring always has given us such lovely fresh water. How can it dry up all of a sudden? Oh, do you suppose maybe the bad water is what turned those, uh, that lady into a cursed lady? Lack of a better term. Because it was, like, something gross in the, in the stew, right? So, maybe it's something, something to do with that. Ooh, also, watching in the, watching in the footage of the last episode, apparently the bullets do do damage, but they did so little damage to, uh, I think I did that wrong because I accidentally attacked him, yeah. They just did so little damage to the boss that it was, like, negligible, so. But when fighting a normal enemy, it actually did do damage. Just, once again, didn't add on to the combo, so. There you have it. Get out of here. I want to get that good... It's been a while since we've had a perfect, uh, perfect rating on any of these fights. I want to get it. Okay, and slice a Rooney. Get that demon fang. Delicious. Is that it? Neat. Still bad on time, but at least we didn't take any damage. That's always reliable, if anything. I don't know. I, I feel like I did that fight pretty quick. And yeah, sure enough. Fills up the water. Which is now going into that lake down there. Which I'm assuming they took in their nasty water from. That must be it, right? Like, that's gonna, that's gonna fix their whole problem going on there. Got some more deers. Yes, I don't say it. I know that's not how you say multiple deer. Neat. Getting that praise out the wazoo. I do enjoy the fact that it's not the actual battles that give you the praise. It's like the... What's the deal with these? There's gotta be something weird with the middle of these. It's so wonderful that the mermaid spring has come back to life. Maybe it's thanks to the legendary powers of the mermaids. Have you heard the story? This spring's like a path for them. Sometimes they come up from the bottom of the ocean. There are other springs just like this all across Nippon. The mermaids come up from to the ground, come up to the ground to visit their favorite places. See, part of the water surface is shining faintly. If you throw a mermaid coin in there, the path will open up. Oh, okay. Well, that's kind of a confirmation that we can't deal with those spots yet, so I'll leave it be. Uh, where's the ocean that this runs into, though? Because I definitely didn't see an ocean for it to run into. So cool, we put that back together. I'm still not sure what this deal up here is. Because, like, we went up there and there wasn't really... Unless there's another pod from that point on. Can I get myself straight from here to that? Uh. Because I feel like that's... Like, that can happen. Definitely not with that. 
point of view. Huh. This is how you speed run this game. Look at that. One, one blossom. I don't know if I can fall down that. Am I supposed to restore something here? No, there's nothing to restore. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with this. There's obviously the way forward that way. There's a way forward that way. Where is that? Kusa Village. So that's another area. Jeez, we have so many ways to branch off here. It can go south. North is where we came in from. Well, I guess we could just go south and uh, west. And just north of here is where the other village is. Okay, that's good to know. I'm not... I don't see anywhere else to... to skedaddle to, so... Whatever. I don't know where to go first. So we'll just choose a path, stick with it until it tells us, Hey, that's a no-no. You gotta come back. Which, in all reality, probably won't take too long. Oh, I didn't even connect it. I'm, sh I'm surprised that actually worked. So let's try... let's try... what is this? City checkpoint. I feel like we're gonna get stopped in the city checkpoint. So it makes sense to go here first. Got a cursed gate. What's up, my dudes? Let me shoot ya. Get down here. Oh. I can't get a good angle. Like, I just need them on screen. That's all I need. There we go. Yeesh. Can I, like, cut them both? Uh, that didn't work. That didn't work either. What? There we go. Yeesh. Took a hit. So now he's gonna grab onto me. Now I bullet him. Right? That should get him off. And we can properly knock his block off. Oh, he's back on me again. I'm not gonna have a good score for... damage. Please? No? Okay. I don't know why my slicing is having trouble today. But it's just not happening. Not coming out. Grab onto me. I mean, I think one bullet ought to be enough to get him off, yeah. So, and then just cut. No? Is my- is, are my lines not long enough? What's going on here? Not sure about this. Come at me. Let me get that big combo. Alright, there he goes. Almost one- there- there's gonna be a way to, like, one- one cycle him. And now I'm thinking about it, like, a bit- a little tiny bit of gold dust, I bet, would be perfect for that. There we go, get that demon fang for once. It's gonna be terrible on time and damage, isn't it? Yeah, not the best. Hey, at least neither one of them are saplings. So I'll take it. More deer, yeesh. Surely there's going to be a point where we stop seeing all these god dang deer. Give those boys some herbs. We did it. Hold on, something I want to check real quick here. Uh, if I go to like the bestiary, no, not bestiary, animal town. Uh, more information about them is in unlocked every time I do it, right? Well, maybe not. Males have antlers, females don't. It's not showing me the second one. Which, to be fair, it's not showing me the second. Maybe it's once it gets to 100%. It'll give me the second bit of information. Which is an interesting choice if that's true, but, you know, what? whatever. Get a little bloom. Oh, that's an interesting bloom. It's more like a Magatama. We got Fox? Foxy Loxy? Uh, uh, off chance you like fish? No, I don't think they're gonna like herbs or seeds. Yeah, they want meat. Those boys want some meat. There, there, there! There it is! My pendulum's calling out to me. The treasure must be buried here. What are you staring at, Pooch? Wanna help me dig up the treasure? My pendulum showed me where it was, but I've completely lost track of where that was now. There must be some kind of clue around here somewhere. Yeah, I wonder. It's definitely under that pile of leaves that we can't really do much with. What's this all about? This looks like a dig spot, but like, you know, we can't. It must be like an upgrade that allows us to dig through stone. 
Because we have seen that a couple of times. Okay, waste no more time. Let's keep on moving. Well, we can waste time to bloom. Oh, we already got y'all. Oh, night time. Good timing, though. Neat. Give me that bloom. Yeah, it's, I really have to try out different stances every time I record to see if I can get in a... Getting one that allows me to to properly, like, draw, you know? City checkpoint. Yeah, I'm thinking this is a, an area where we're going to get blocked off pretty quick here, isn't it? I'm not sure we're going to be able to get through here. That's a lot of talking to people. Another save point. Oh, hold on. We don't, like, passively get HP, right? Walking on the save points heals you, someone said, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to try and keep that in mind. Isn't this the tea shop thing? Oh, what a cute little doggy. Are you stuck here too? That big bridge over there? People call it Big Draw Bridge. Wow, that's great. It's what links Taka Pass with the city. As you can see, they keep the bridge raised these days, though. I wonder what's going on over in the city. Okay, like permanently raised? Hey there, Pooch. You hoping to head over to the city too? I'm afraid no one's getting anywhere with that big drawbridge like that. Even the checkpoint guards don't know why it's been raised. I bet there's something a bit fishy going on. Maybe they're trying to stop that whole situation. Yeah, what's up? You understand what I'm saying, eh? Want me to let you in on a rumor I heard? Apparently, there's some mysterious illness in, a, in Cyan City. I'm assuming that's Cyan. I wouldn't normally believe that kind of rumor, of course. But thinking about it when I first heard it... Well, it was right around the time the bridge was raised. If that rumor's true, then I guess there's no hurry to leave here. So I'm assuming Cyan City is beyond the gate. Look at this old well. This must be where that tea house over there gets its water. Okay. We're seeing a lot of wells. So yeah, this isn't happening, is it? Here. Well, it looks like there must be a path somewhere through here. With all those little pods in the air. Not pods. They're not lotus pods. They're flowers, I guess? Oh, I still don't have that thing for these statues. Mother tree. Okay, what's that about? Tell me. Nope. Travel guide. In Kamiki Village, there grows a magnificent tree called Konohana. Konohana splits roots to form many trees throughout Nippon in order to better, better protect and preserve the glory of nature. Differing accounts shed little light on the tree's true origin. Some say the tree was born when it was sprouted from a dead god. Others speculate that it was transplanted from tra transplanted from a faraway land. No story yet concocted can be considered the true version. However, the sensation I get as I draw Konohana is unmistakable. This is a plant that cannot be tamed by a mere brush. The miracle of, miracle of its existence is more than can be sketched. One wonders what secrets lie beyond its broad leaves. You didn't sketch it with leaves. How do you know it has leaves ever? Could be a dead tree for all you know. Is there anything down here of note? Oh, well, it keeps going down. I guess we'll follow it. Not sure what this is going on about. How big is this area? Yeesh. There's a boat. Can we, like, move the boat at all? Well, I can jump in the water. It's good for me. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. That's not happening. Uh, yep. Yeah. I just wanted to see if anything activated when I got in the boat. Guess not. So, so far, not the most fruitful of journeys. We got hogs, though. They like that good herb. No, they don't. They like the seeds. That's not realistic, right? Like, a hog isn't going to go for a seed, right? It's more like in the scraps. You'd think it'd be meat. I mean, they eat anything, really. Right? For my nuts. Which we all know I am. Hold on. Y'all know. Y'all know. Ain't no foolin'. Let's dig this spot. That's how it be. Man. Gamer intuition. If there was a Gamer 101 class, that would be lesson one. Right there. Check the waterfalls. Hey, I didn't even have to touch the water to get out of there. Neat. Another dig spot with some squee whales. No. No. Fish. Guess that must not be a squee well then. Some kind of like... I don't know. Like a raccoon type thing? 
It's not it's not a tanuki, is it? Because it is based off Japan. We have raccoons, they have tanuki. Hey, we got an exorcism slip. We all know I love exorcisms. So, it's all the better for us. Doesn't look like there's much down here left for us, but I'll still check it out just in case you know that draw distance is being a boy. Hey, daytime! So at least the at least the scrolls won't follow us. Here. Oof. I wonder if there's any Was that not Oh, I didn't get it open all the way. I don't know, that seemed like a longer one than the rest. Please keep in mind I'm sitting in a weird position for this. It's a little hard. Okay. Yeah, doesn't look like there's anything else down here for us, and that was quite the journey. I don't know, I saw that one blooming flower up there, so I assume something had to be up with it. We don't have the ability to control water at this point, so I don't think we have a way to open that treasure chest. Which I'm assuming we're going to eventually get some way to manipulate most elements, like water, maybe fire at some point. That'd be neat. Be very edgy of us. We can be Zuko. We could be the Avatar at that point. I, gra I guess all we really have control over right now is just plants, which is a form of... Oh, what's going on here? It's a form of water bending. Are they trying to shoot into the cannon? Yo, what's up? Hello there, what's the matter, Poochie? Why the sad look? You'll never get anywhere looking like that. It's bad luck. I'm Yoichi, the greatest archer among all the city guards. Tall boy, the greatest archer, Yoichi. Holy smokes, that's some bow you got there, mister. What's this? You brought a friend along with you, Poochie? This is my trusty bold bow, Golden Fire, the most powerful in all the land. Guarding is rather dull work, so I pass the time practicing archery. I'll show you what I can do. Watch this. Oh, is he going to shoot the, the blossom up there? No. Oh, he was shooting for the cannon. Wow, bullseye! Pretty good, eh? There's not there's not a target golden fire and I can't hit. Now, my friends, why not have, have a bite and relax a bit? Okay, thanks. But you have more to say. What is it, Poochie? You want to pass through the city? Well, we have a problem then. I was guarding this city checkpoint when suddenly, the order was given not to let anyone to enter. Look, see how they raised the big drawbridge on the far bank? Normally, I'd fire a flaming arrow as a signal to lower it. But there's nobody at the guard post over there. I wonder if my comrades in the city would notice if I fired an arrow. No matter. I don't have anything to light an arrow with anyway. You, uh, burp. You see, the sacred flames of the phoenix statues suddenly went out. It's been one thing after another lately. Anyway, at least I can get some well-earned rest. Why not have a bite to eat and take a break with me? You're just gonna give us apples, my man? Uh, you're falling asleep. Who? What? Oh, uh, hmm. This is a checkpoint for Cyan City. This big drawbridge is the only way in or out. But no one's allowed into the city right now. That's an absolute order from Queen Himiko. Himiko. Say, you know the phoenix statues that protect this checkpoint? Well, they burned with the sacred flame that drove away evil. But they suddenly went out one day. Now I'm afraid monsters are gonna sneak up on me when it gets dark. You have a literal pig nose. The sacred flame should never go out. Maybe that rumor is true. Okay. Who, what? Oh, uh, have you heard that rumor? You know, the rumor about the huge cursed stone? Everyone's up in arms because it happened so close to the big day. I mean, the Kamiki fest Festival held each year. Plus, it's the 100th hundredth, hundredth festival since that monster was defeated. So everyone's saying it's the 100 year curse. Hmm. You still have more. Who? What? Oh, uh, no one's allowed in this city. That's an absolute order. Wait, is this the same thing? Uh, a million times. I see. Guess I can't remember who I've told it to. I've told so many. Yeah, I just didn't want to listen to that again. Got a shop. Got a shop boy. Oh, what a pain. Now that the big drawbridge has been raised, I can't get home. I hear Queen Hamiko has had issued an order to close off the city. But why would she give orders to that like that with so little warning? I suppose she'll just have to sell my goods here for now. You haven't been sent to do the shopping, have you? Yeah. Okay. So, 
All right. It's nothing new. What? Someone's supposed to give me that thing for those statues. It's the person back in uh, the plains, right? So there's really nothing for us here, is there? All right. Guess I'll check out the other path then, because this is very obviously just a dead end. Unless I, like, hmm. Those flowers in the air, I don't think I can reach them no matter what I do. And obviously we don't have the power of, like, fire to light the phoenix statue or anything, so I don't know if that's going to get us anywhere. Anyway, yeah. Well, I guess in the next episode we'll try out the other path. It's just a lot of things to explore. So, you know, going about it's a bit slow. See you all in the next episode when we do that, and goodbye.